Welcome to Success Series. Today we are going to talk about loan benefit. Loan benefit. Now, what's the definition of loan benefit? A loan benefit is simply the interest that the employee should have paid if the employer uses the statutory rate less the interest payable to the employer. Yeah, what are you trying to say? Loan benefit here, we are looking at the the loan given to an employee and you know that if an employee is given a loan by the employer usually the rate of interest will be relatively lower and so you want to find the difference between the statutory rate interest rate and then that of the one that the uh, employee actually paid or the one that he paid to the empl employer yeah, loan benefit is seen as a taxable benefit in kind if quantification conditions are present. So in the case whereby quantification conditions are present, then we have to treat the loan benefit as a benefit in kind or what we also term as the non-cash allowance. Non-cash allowance or benefit in kind. So after your total cash emolument, then you add all your benefits in kind which loan benefit is an example now let's look at the uh, conditions the quantification conditions so quantification of employees loan benefits what are the conditions we have so quantification is applicable where one the loan is from an entity to a member or manager of the entity or from an employer to an employee so yeah mainly the loan should be from an employer to an employee secondly the loan is expected or the loan repayment period is expected to exceed 12 months so the loan repayment period should exceed 12 months and thirdly the aggregate amount of the loan and any similar loan outstanding at any time during the previous 12 months exceeds three months basis salary what does this mean it means that if you pick the loan the loan that uh, was given by the employer to the employee if you pick the loan and there is any outstanding similar loan for the previous 12 months if we add these two together it's not expected to exceed three months of the base salary of the employee i take it again if you pick the current loan and let me add last year's similar loan which is 12 months a 12 months similar loan that we took which is still outstanding and we add these two together it should not exceed three months of the basic salary in the case whereby all of these three conditions are not present or if any one of them even if one of them is not present then bear in mind that we are not going to quantify so you yeah, note if any of the conditions are not present then quantification of loan benefits is nil meaning is zero is zero so let's pick some illustrative questions to enhance our understanding. But before we do that, let's look at the calculation. How do we calculate for employees' loan benefit? So to calculate for the loan benefit, as we said earlier, is going to be the interest at the statutory rate. Then we layer the interest that was paid by the employee. Then bear in mind that once you are done, you have to divide all of this by four. So we divide all of this by four. Now, how do we calculate interest? How do we calculate interest? It's just your principal. You multiply it by your interest, multiply by time. So principal multiply by interest, multiply by time. And time here, you are referring to the number of years in perspective. So now let's dive into our question. So question one, on 1st January 2016, Kofi Ajeman successfully applied for a 10,000 Ghana city loan from his employer success series limited his employer charged him interest of two percent per annum on the loan during this period bank of ghana policy rate was 15 percent the loan was repayable within 10 months the annual basis salary was 46,000 required what is the tax implication of the loan taken by kofi ajima so let's look at how we will solve this question. But key things I have to know. Remember, we said the loan should be from 
the employer to the employee the loan should exceed 12 months the aggregate of the loan and any outstanding similar loan should exceed three months of the base salary so these are the three conditions we have to check before we know whether we have to quantify or not so let's go so over here the loan was from the employer to the employee it was stated in the question the repayment period was 10 months if you check the question the repayment period was 10 months and per the condition is supposed to what exceed 12 months so since it's 10 months then there's an issue third one the loan amount of ten thousand does not exceed three months of the basis salary of eleven thousand five hundred so the loan amount was ten thousand and this amount is not exceeding three months of the base salary. Now, three months of the base salary, the base salary was 46,000. And multiply by three out of 12, three over 12. And that will give us 11,500. So yeah, what will be our conclusion? So our conclusion will be that Kofi Ajiman does not qualify to be charged loan benefits by GRE. Yeah, because not all the conditions are present. Since we can't quantify loan benefits in this case. Now let's try some more examples. Question 2. On 1st January 2017, Amamensa successfully applied for a 16,000 loan from her employer, Success Series Limited. Her employer charged her interest of 8% per annum on the loan. During this period, Bank of Ghana policy rate was 22%. The loan was repayable within 24 months. The annual basis salary was 40,000 required. What is the tax implication of the loan taken by Ama Mensa? So yeah, bear in mind, you have to check whether the loan is from the employer to the employee. And yeah, it is so over here. You have to check the repayment period. Over here, the repayment period is what? 24 months. 24 months. So we are good to do. Then we have to also check if the loan if the loan exceeds three months of the basis three months of the basis salary so you have to also check that so let's dive into our solution yeah it says ama will be liable to tax on the loan benefits in view of the fact that so yeah the loan was from the employer to the employee the loan repayment period was 24 months so it's exceeding 12 months and then tell it the loan of 16,000, it exceeds three months of the basis salary of 10,000. So if you pick the basis salary, which was 40,000, you multiply by three out of 12, it gave us 10,000. And then the loan amount of 16,000 exceeds this 10,000. Hence, here we are going to quantify the loan benefit. So how are you going to go about it? First, we need to quote our formula. We said a home nice that loan benefit is equal to interest at statutory rate minus interest paid by the employee and we divide by what four now let's go let's solve it so loan benefit here will be so the interest at the strategy rate we calculate for that and we say we bring a principal the interest rate and then the time in terms of years so the principal here is 16,000 we multiply by the statutory rate which is 22 percent multiply by two years why is it two years it was 24 months 24 months convertible to months uh, to years will give us two years then we come to the interest paid by the employee which will be sixteen thousand multiply by eight percent then multiply by two years then you will divide by our four then our answer will be so the loan benefit you are getting here is for two years and the loan benefit is what one thousand one hundred and what twenty now if you want to just get a loan benefit for a year because usually your question will be for uh a single year of assessment so in that instance we need to get a loan benefit for a year so if you are looking for a loan benefit for a year you have to divide this amount by the period involved and this the period involved is what two so yeah the loan benefit for a year will be one one two zero divisible by two which will give us 560 ghana cd so this is the answer to this question the loan benefit of 560 ghana cd and this loan benefit will be treated as what a benefit in kind a benefit in kind so after you have gotten our total cash in monument we'll add this 560 to it then finally to let's solve our last question so question three on first january 2016 kwame ajiman successfully applied for a 10,000 loan from his employer success series limited 
This loan is in addition to an outstanding similar loan of 5000 during the previous 12 months. His employer charged him an interest rate of 8% per annum on the loan. During this period, Bank of Ghana policy rate was 22%. The loan was repayable within 16 months. The annual basis salary was 50000 required. What is the tax implication of the loan taken by Kwame Ajima? So yeah, first check. Is it from employer to employee? Yes. You also have to check the month or the years for the repayment period. And the question told us that the repayment period is what? 16 months. So 16 months. So that's more than 12 months. So we don't have a, an issue with that. And then we have to check the aggregate. And yeah, bear in mind that we have, we have the current loan, which is 10,000. And then we have outstanding similar loan of 5,000 from the previous 12 months. So adding these two together will give us what 15,000. And then we'll compare with three out of 12 of our basic salary to know whether it exceeds it or it doesn't exceed it. So let's dive into the solution. So yeah, so Kwame will be liable to tax on the loan benefit in view of the fact that so one, the loan was from the employer to the employee. We have, we have established that fact. Two, the loan repayment period was 16 months, which is more than 12 months. We have established that fact. Now, the aggregate of the current loan amount of 10,000 and the outstanding similar loan of 5,000 during the previous 12 months is 15,000. So, adding the two, the current loan is 10,000. The outstanding similar loan is 5,000. Adding the two give us was 15,000. Now, we have to check this with what three months of the basic salary. So, 3 over 12 multiplied by 50,000 is giving us 12,000. We want 500. So, here it exceeds. In that instance, you have to what? Quantify. So in quantifying, what do you do? First, quote your formula. Formula is what interest as a true rate minus interest paid by the employee or divisible by what? Four. Then we now dive into the calculation. So loan benefit will be equal to 15,000. Yeah, you are using 15,000, not 10,000. The reason is that, yeah, we are going to calculate it on the aggregate of the current loan and then the outstanding similar loan so it's going to be 15,000 so yeah it's going to 15,000 multiply by the statutory rate and per the question the statutory rate is 22 percent then multiply by the time and yeah you said time should be in years but yeah we're giving 16 months so 16 months to get a yes it will be 16 months divisible by what 12 16 months divisible by 12 that will give us what the yes the yes involved then minus 15,000 multiply by 8%, multiply by 16 out of 12, then we'll divide it by what? 4. Now, this loan benefit we have is for 16 months, and which is giving us what? 700. So, if you need the loan benefit for a year, we have to find, and you have to use ratio and proportion to give us that. And that will be a loan benefit for a year will be the 700. Multiply by 12 over 16. Then that will give us what five two five. Thank you.